To my esteemed friends of the Habura, Mu'adim Simcha, I hope you've all had a wonderful Chag so far. And we are now moving on to the second part of the Chag, the seventh day of Pesach, where of course we commemorate Kriyat Yom Suf, the splitting of the Red Sea. And there is one person who year in, year out, we talk about, we hear about, and that of course is Nachshon bin Aminadav, the prince of the tribe of Yehuda. Now there are a lot of other princes, in fact there were another 11 Nisim. And we don't necessarily know all their names off by heart. But Nachshon's name, we do know. Everyone knows Nachshon bin Aminadav. Why? Because Nachshon, simply put, was willing to take the plunge. He was courageous. He was willing to take a risk. And because he took the risk, and he was successful, he was remembered and will be remembered for eternity. And that's the beauty of life. When a person is too scared to take a risk, then life becomes dry, it becomes stagnant and boring. But when a person is willing to take the plunge, to jump in, to take a risk, then life becomes exciting, it becomes dynamic, and it opens up avenues in life. The British writer G.K. Chesterton once said, the paradox of courage is that one needs to be a bit reckless with, with one's life in order to keep it. And I think this is so beautiful because, yes, people can live very risk-free and safe lives, but those lives are normally quite boring. If one wants to keep one's life, one wants to really have a vibrant and dynamic life, one needs to be willing to take the plunge, to jump in, to take a risk, as Nachshon did. Now, of course, we're not advocating reckless risks. And that's a strange, thi strange thing about risks, that when a person takes a risk and it works out, he's called a hero. When he takes a risk and it doesn't work out, then it's looked at as a bit reckless. But as long as a person takes a calculated risk, as Nachshon did. It wasn't improbable, Nachshon having seen the miracles, the ten plagues, and everything that Moshe had done for them. It wasn't improbable that Nachshon would jump in and the waters would split for him. And therefore, he took the risk and he was remembered for eternity. Be strong and courageous, is what Moshe told Yehoshua the last moments of his life. It's about having omits, but willing to go forward and take risks in life. And I want to end off with some words for the organizers of the Habura, Sina Kahen and Avi Garson, who over the last few months have taken the plunge with this Habura, which is an immense time and effort. And Baruch Hashem, we see their work and effort is paying off. And hopefully they will be remembered for eternity. So, friends, this cool is Shalim Rabot, Neimot Retovot, his cool Vimtu, Al Tireu Veltar Do not be afraid, but be strong and courageous. All the best.